actually almost fell out of my chair there. That wasn't supposed to happen. Falcon and the Winter Soldier! <laughs> I am so... So excited to watch the rest of this show! If you are unaware, the first episode of the show came out TODAY as I'm filming this! And hopefully I'm getting this to you! Though it's probably gonna come out tomorrow, which is Saturday for you, the day after the episode came out. That's just because timing and editing and all that, and my cat wants to be in the video, apparently. Alright, so this video is gonna be a little bit different from a lot of my critical reviews in the past. This is going to be more of my thought on the episode, which, yeah, that's fair, that's what a lot of them. I'm going to do a very, very minor spoiler thing at the very end. I'm going to timestamp when that ends for if you do not want spoilers for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I'm gonna do my best to not give spoilers for the most part until my spoiler thing at the end. I'm not going to give specifics, there are minor plot things that you kind of have, I have to go into to give my proper thoughts and review. Okay, jumping around. Brain, ADHD, turn off for a second, please. But for now, here we go. My review of episode one of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. This episode is so good and set such a good mood for this freaking show. Holy Crap. The episode starts off with Falcon running a uh, mission for the US government. That is successful, and then it kind of goes from there. What I really like is that Falcon is willingly working with the government at the beginning of this episode because he thinks that is the right thing to do. He was a soldier prior to the events of Winter Soldier. It would make sense that after the blip and after the Avengers are effectively disbanded, at least from what I can tell, so hoping for the young Avengers, that he would go back to working with the government to help them, you know, track down crime and shit like that. But one thing I really like about this episode, Sam and Bucky do not interact at all in this episode. They keep them apart, which I thought was a really, really good thing for them to do. Now, I'm pretty sure they're gonna meet up either next episode or in episode three and start working together, but the fact that they are kept separate throughout the first episode, I thought worked really, really well because it sets up both of their journey with Sam being his thing, trying to help his family after he comes back and Bucky trying to move past his days as the Winter Soldier. From there, it's just a really, really well-told story with a lot of powerful moments in the episode in my opinion. Bucky is clearly suffering from some form of PTSD from his time as the Winter Soldier. And Sam's story, because he's worked with the government for long enough, I'm really excited to see how they're gonna deal with what Sam is gonna have to go through. The show perfectly sets up a way to deal with both PTSD and racism, and if it's handled well, I am gonna be so happy. There are very, very few things I did not like in this episode. I think the biggest thing I wasn't a massive fan of was we, we don't get to see Falcon with the shield like at all at least yet we haven't seen that and I cannot wait to see him actually using the freaking shield in the comics Sam getting past the mantle is one of my favorite moments and I'm super excited to see him take up the mantle at some point in the show because hell yes oh man there are this show perfectly sets up the plot too like the trajectory for all the characters I'm really excited there was some super soldier stuff happening in this episode that was great to see overall I am super super excited for this show and I, I just I, I can't can't get too much into spoilers I, I'm gonna try and keep this spoiler section as short as I possibly can here right now spoilers I am telling you that now I will repeat once again spoilers for this episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier skip to this time code whatever it happens to be to avoid them have you avoided them or are you still here don't care. So certain specific moments, uh, two big key ones that I want to point out. Uh, there is a character who I think they are hinting at is going to take over the mantle of Falcon from Bucky. Bucky. There's a character who I think they are pointing at going to take over the mantle from Sam. I believe they are hinting that Sam is going to pass on the Falcon mantle by the end of the show. Specifically to a character from the comics who I'm not 100% familiar with. I think they're hinting at Sam going to be passing on his mantle to him. At least I personally hope so. That or we just have two Falcons in the MCU at that from this point on and that's going to be freaking dope. But some of the things I kind of liked were how they dealt with racism in this series. Or how it feels like they're dealing with it. Because at the beginning of this episode, Sam gives up the shield. He willingly gives the shield because he doesn't think that it is right for him to wield Captain America's shield and take on the mantle from him. He believes that Steve's the owner of the shield and that it's Steve's mantle. However, at the end of the episode, the government, the same 
same dudes that are telling Sam, hey, you did the right thing by giving up the shield. Captain America should just live on as a symbol. Gave the shield to the creepiest looking douche they could find. US agent in this looks like a creepy motherfucker and I'm pretty sure he's in the comics too. They didn't even offer this mantle to Sam from the government saying, hey, you want this? No, they convinced Sam to give up the shield, which had been rightfully given to him by Captain America and then gave it to another white guy. I'm pretty sure it has to do with racism personally because it's an old white fuck, but I could be wrong. However, I kind of feel like that's where it is going to go. In the comics, I believe it is a racially motivated thing where they don't want Falcon to have the mantle because I'm pretty sure they tried to take the mantle from him in there as well. I'm not 100% Again, I haven't read this in a minute and I don't know if I am wrong about that. Someone tell me in the comments down below. Another thing that I am personally really, really excited for is that Bucky is clearly suffering from PTSD. He's having nightmares from what he did as the Winter Soldier and he's clearly trying to get past that. And there was a scene in therapy that I thought was really, really nice, but there was this also nightmare flashback thing that he had where we see him kill some random innocent dude. And then later he's talking to this old Japanese guy, guy and he finds out that his son died. And then Bucky later goes to his house and he sees a memorial to the guy's kid and it turns out to be the dude that Bucky shot in the past and it's really really sad and it's a really moment and I just cannot wait to see where the show goes from here. Okay, spoilers <laughs> over. But yes, the first episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier is absolutely amazing in my opinion. I thought it was a really, really well done episode. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the crap out of it. It was a lot of fun to watch and I'm really, really excited for where the show goes in the future. On my personal rating scale, I would say that Falcon and the Winter Soldier rolls an 18. Really, really high. Really, really solid first episode. Not, not necessarily the best. I still have to see where this goes. Those are my thoughts and minor spoilers for Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode one. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I'm hoping to get back into the swing of making videos very, very soon. I've just had a bit of a mental block going on what I want to do. I've been working on other stuff, but I'm ready to get back into the swing of the, I'm ready to start making videos again. But anyway, that is, wow. All beside the point. But did you guys like Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode one? Uh, whatever your thoughts are, tell me in the comments down below. And if you guys want to follow me on any of my social medias, links to both my Twitter and Instagram are going to be in the description down below as always. But I hope that you guys have a fantastic fucking day. And as always, peace out, guys.